Hello guys, it's Shazib Afridi from Game Logics, and uh, this is part one of our tutorial series how to make color switch game in Unity. Okay, so I have just created an empty project, and uh, <clears throat> uh, in this tutorial, what I am going to create is uh, simply I am going to create a few uh, folders and uh, uh, canvases that are uh, required for our uh, splash screen okay the screen that will appear when we uh, start our game okay so let's create the necessary folders it's going to be scenes <clears throat> and then a folder for uh, prefabs and then for our Uh, textures okay and then uh, for our UI elements like where I will keep our buttons UI elements okay so um, and yeah scripts not here not inside this one let's delete this okay so scripts so now let's uh, <coughs> excuse me let's uh, just create a canvas so let's create a canvas that is uh, okay so uh, let's rename it it's going to be our fader canvas which will fade away Okay, so it will work as a feather canvas and let's create a raw image inside um, this canvas. Okay, so this raw image will basically be used for um, just a black background, okay? Nothing else. Okay, this is going to be feather image. And... Uh, it needs to be stretched okay so so as you can see it's the canvas and let's make it uh, scale with screen size okay let's make it 480 and 800 okay and let's make it one okay so what these things are basically and it's basically a screen space overlay and we have a screen space camera and world space i think that i have uh, discussed these things in uh, our ludo tutorial series but if you have forgot if you have forgotten then uh, let me remind you basically sc screen space overlay is uh, used so in this mode, uh, in this render mode, uh, the UI elements are rendered on the top of the screen, okay, <clears throat> on the top of the screen, uh, regardless of uh, the camera, okay, and in screen space camera, it's basically similar to screen space overlay, but it uh, renders the UI element from a particular distance, like, um, the elements are placed at a particular distance in front of the camera okay so that's the main uh, difference okay and uh, in screen space overlay if uh, it does not depend uh, if we change the setting uh, the settings of the camera so it does not depend on the camera okay but it uh, depends on our um, uh, screen size uh, and uh, like you can say resolution okay so if we change uh, the screen size or resolution then it will uh, automatically uh, and the ui elements will automatically adjust uh, themselves uh, they will adjust themselves uh, uh, 
according to that particular screen size or you can say the resolution okay but uh, in screen space or uh, camera what it basically does uh, it basically depends on uh, camera okay so if we change uh, the settings of the camera then uh, uh, the ui elements will adjust themselves according to the uh, camera like if we uh, change the field view of camera or we change the uh, like perspective mode and orthographic mode things like that okay so uh, that's the things okay and here uh, the canvas scaler the ui scale mode what it basically does is we have here uh, three options like uh, a scale with uh, screen size so what it does it basically scales our ui elements according to the screen size okay uh, not according to the uh, resolution okay so it scales our ui elements uh, uh, according to our screen size if we change our screen size then the ui uh, the ui elements uh, will adjust themselves according to the uh, screen size and the constant pixel size it does not look for the uh, screen size but uh, rather it looks for our uh, resolution because our uh, screen resolution is made up of two things the pixels uh, in width wise and the pixels in height wise okay so if we multiply them then it will make our uh, screen a resolution okay so <clears throat> it basically looks for our uh, pixel size okay regardless of the screen size and constant physical uh, size what it does it basically depends on our uh, uh, like uh, it basically depends on neither of them like it doesn't depend on the screen size and nor on the uh, screen uh, resolution okay so like if we change uh, like uh, we don't have the textures at this point okay so like if we take a ui element and we assign a particular uh, pixel size like it will occupy uh, that much pixels okay so it will look up for that much pixels not for the resolution and not for the uh, screen size but particular for that ui element okay so if you didn't understand uh, you will understand uh, these things okay uh, in later tutorials so don't worry about that so let's continue okay so now we have created our yeah so so let's make it stretch okay so it will occupy the whole um, canvas how we can do this you have to make uh, right bottom left top all of them you have to assign uh, them the value of zero okay so that's it and now let's make the color for this black okay so things are done the way they are supposed to what the hell mm, okay so let's yeah let's save the scene and let's name it uh, uh, splash splash screen okay splash screen okay so it has saved and uh, let's do and yeah a uh, match width uh, or height uh, screen match mode what it does i think that i uh, forgot this um match width or height what it does is basically it matches our uh, <clears throat> uh, canvas uh, with either our provided uh, width uh, or our provided height okay or you can say both okay so I think it's simple okay so now let's create um, another uh, UI canvas which is going to be our logo canvas which will hold our logo okay so that's it and uh, it will be on screen space camera okay 
so now uh, it will uh, render uh, uh, the UI elements which are placed in front of a camera at a particular distance okay so let's assign the camera it's going to be our main camera so see plane distance here you can see it okay and this should be in sort order it's sort order should be two uh, and why i'm doing this because uh, when we play our game the first screen that will appear will be our logo canvas okay so like first our logo canvas will appear and there we will display a particular kind of a logo and then then this canvas will come to play then this canvas will appear so it's sort order should be two like it will appear in the second order okay i think you got my point okay so now let's change this with constant uh yeah, so I have already explained these things. It's going to be 480 and 800. Okay. So here it is. Okay, so now let's create an image here. Um, and uh, this image uh, will hold our yeah it's going to be background it's going to be the background image and uh, the other one image is going to hold our uh, logo okay so it will hold our uh, logo okay, so we can call it logo image or we can simply call it just logo okay so uh, I think that uh, this is it for this tutorial guys and if you didn't understand anything then let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for notifications and support me guys because you know that your support keeps me motivated okay so and I will try to make and bring good stuff uh, for you guys okay so till then take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next tutorial